All right, welcome. So in this one, I'm gonna show you how you can use the OpenAI API in a Node.js environment. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna head over to their site and you're gonna sign up for an account. And once you've signed up, just make sure you navigate over to this API page and then log in. So once you've logged in, uh, you're gonna have this interface that you're greeted with. And then we're just gonna put a pin in this just for a moment. Now we're gonna pop over into our environment. So I'm gonna be using VS Code, but feel free to use whatever that the environment that you prefer. And then we're gonna initialize a couple files. So we're gonna initialize an index.js and a uh, .env. And then I'm gonna initialize this directory to install a couple packages. And then last, I'm going to just install those packages. Okay, next, so we're gonna pop over to our API key. So once we're on the website again, we'll go to the top right corner and we'll click where our initial is. We'll click view API key. We'll click create new secret. And then from there you can copy it. And then we'll go over to our .env and then we'll type open AI API key equals. And then you just put your API key there. All right, so once we have our API key all set up, we're gonna hop back over to the OpenAI website and we're gonna click examples. We'll go to summarize for a second grader. We'll click open in playground, view code, and then we're gonna copy that over to our index.js. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to require .env and then initialize that. And then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wrap this uh, await within an asynchronous function. So we'll say prompt AI equals async prompt. And then just straighten out the code a little bit and save that. And then right at the bottom of our async function, I'm just going to make sure that we return and then from there, I'm going to just go ahead and prompt this. And then after we prompt, we'll just log out our results here. All right, there you have it. So that's as easy as it is. So from here, you know, the next step, we can take that and then we can put in our own prompts and pass it in. We can say, what is JavaScript? And then we'll save that. And there we go, JavaScript's a programming language used for et cetera, et cetera. So hopefully you found this useful. If you did, please like, subscribe, leave a comment, tell me what you thought. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next one.